I guess I would like to start, if you don't mind, by, by getting your thoughts on <coughs> what a director does. <laughs> Thea. It's fascinating to me how the job has changed and how the answer to that question is different. But in essence, you are, I guess you're the captain of the ship and um, <coughs> you have to lead a team of people. Um, you have to, in many ways, you have many different hats. So you also become a parent. Yes. So Diplomacy is, is a very is big. <laughs> okay. Is big. Kofi Annan is a huge uh, <laughs> idol of mine. <laughs> and Arsene Wenger is my other one. So oh, that's wow. the other thing. On opening night, you've been the most important person in the project. You are the leader, you are the director, you have to make all the judgment calls. You are the one people, everybody goes to. At the, in the last two weeks, if we're completely honest, when you direct a big opera, I'm sure with film as well, you know, it feels even a bit as if you're God. You know, you, you sit in the auditorium, you have a huge desk, lots of assistants and people around you. You can say, stop, bring on the court. You know, you, can tr you, you create a world. You're sometimes a slightly frustrated God, but still, you feel very powerful. Yeah. And then on opening night, you have to let it all go. And, and, and although you go backstage and you say, oh, you know, good luck, and please remember in the second act to turn around, you know, basically they want you to go away. You are very, very powerful, and ultimately you can do nothing. Does the bigger the production, David, mean that you have more to control or less to control? Actually, oddly, I think the bigger the production, it's all about the key people you work with. Yeah. So even though there may be hundreds of people involved, as long as you're working closely with some of those key creatives, your production designer, your composer, obviously the, the actors, then you get maximum. I, I mean, I think one of the things you have to do as a director is you really need to focus in on what will have the maximum impact in a production because there are so many things that you have to concentrate on, so many relationships you have to manage. It's about choosing where to put your time, mm -hmm. which is always quite stretched and challenged and where you're going to put your focus. And I think deciding what's going to really make a big difference to the end result and what isn't is crucial. But I always like, um, f my, my philosophy is about empowerment. Ultimately, it's about that huge group of people that you're working with across a whole spectrum, you know, from DOPs to operators, even the grip or the sound designer or your producer or the exec at the studio. Ultimately, it is about finding the right pattern of a relationship that will guide through what you want from the process to end up with the best film. And it's, it is managing relationships. And every single relationship, as you say, is fundamentally different. And so... Um, and imagine every day is different, isn't it? Because mm. it's not like you have a... Well, tell me if I'm wrong, but it's not like you have a... Like a, the day... I know you obviously have a shooting schedule and things like that, but you never quite know what's going to happen I guess in a way as well or is it is it On kind of yeah or is it kind of planned to when you're actually shooting something it's fairly rigorously is planned it? but within that structure you know lots of things can go wrong actually filmmaking is a process of fixing problems yeah. <laughs> frankly often because there are so many things that can surprise you and take you of course a wee bit and it's how you manage that and it's how, how you use those things that go wrong sometimes that get you to a really fun and interesting place but I mean, simply because certainly, the, even, even the smaller bits of television I used to do, it, it is rigorously organised simply because of the amount of money that we burn mm. through in a single day. Yeah. You know, a, a single day shoot on the bigger films that I make is hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you ought to, it has yeah. to be organised. Mm. Otherwise, people get really frustrated that you're wasting stuff. Yeah. O on the other end, um, one of the other things that I would always say you, one has to be as a... As a director is a facilitator almost so but particularly when you're doing new work in the theatre um, so you have your actors on the one hand and you have your playwright on the other and in one sense you are the least important person in the room because at the the playwright for me is the most important person <clears throat> and the actors at the end of the day are going to be saying the writer's words and you just as Casper says you can't be there they have to be able to do it. So equally, the playwright won't be there, but their words will be with them. Yeah. And you are the person who has to guide those two things to, to be as magical as possible. Um, and in some ways, that's when you sort of you lose your power in a funny way. Although that choice is, says a lot, I think, about directors, because there are certain directors who 
would never see themselves like that. For them, it's about being God from start to finish. Yeah. Uh, and it's about their vision, and that's the most important thing. <clears throat> So if they want to do a production of uh, Measure for Measure, they want to do it in a way that no one's ever done it before, and they don't care if it doesn't make sense necessarily because it wants to have a stamp on it, and that's the most I important thing. 